Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Friday, October 16th. Greetings from Las Vegas. Let's take a look at what's going on with that NASDAQ market. We talked about this false sense of security, that's what I call this action, uh, in Thursday's action, or Wednesday's action, excuse me, and we're looking for follow through on Thursday. We're getting that kind of behavior. I'm recording this a little bit before the close and I wouldn't be surprised for this market to maintain the levels that we're looking at and I'm looking for follow through on Friday to the upside. When it comes to those currencies though, we backed off on the euro, we traded below its bearish level and the difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market, the magnitude change is $1,250 per contract. I do look for follow through to the downside on Friday but not a dramatic move for that market. Let's move on though and take a look at what's going on with those interest rate markets. And what we're seeing here is the notes did back off. That is what I was looking for. I think it's the right kind of behavior. And the difference between that bearish and bullish level, the magnitude change in that market is $500 per contract. I do look for follow through to the downside actually for Friday and it could be dramatic. Same thing here for bonds. The difference between that bearish and bullish level in that market is four hundred and six dollars and twenty five cents and I do look for follow through to the downside on Friday. In the gold market, well it's still I was looking for an unchanged type day but it did trade a little bit below that bearish level and the difference between the bullish and bearish level in that market's four hundred dollars a contract. I look for a sideways move as we go into this weekend. In crude oil we have a build-in supply. I think it's bearish, but they're buying the break, so we have to be careful here. Uh, this is a bullish setup. I just don't see a reason for follow-through at this point for that market. In soybeans, we did back off. We're they're selling the rallies. We got a lot of supply out there. The difference between the bearish and bullish level in that market is $1,000 per contract and I do look for further movement to the downside for Friday's action. Well that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me and I'm looking forward to being with you again as always. Take care.